We bowl off Mellow TV Sports with cricket as Adnan Sanasi, who is hoping to unseat Ricky Skerritt as Cricket West Indies president, has been dealt with a blow by the Guyana Cricket Board. At the GCB elections today, Bison Dial Singh Sr. was elected as the new president with Sanasi no longer a board member, which puts his CWI bid in doubt. The GCB and Barbados Cricket Associations were no-shows yesterday, which forced the postponement of the Cricket West Indies annual general meeting due to the lack of quorum. Both bodies are affiliated with leadership challenges, challengers Sanasi and Calvin Hope, and the absence of both meant the meeting could not proceed to business as the CWI Articles of Association stipulate that nine representatives of the full members need to be present in person to constitute a quorum. The Jamaica Cricket Association, Leeward Islands Cricket Board, Trinidad and Tobacco Cricket Board, and the Windward Islands Cricket Board were all present. The Articles of Association provide that if there is no quorum within 30 minutes from the time appointed for the meeting, it shall stand adjourned to the next business day or to such other time and place as the Board of Directors may determine and at the adjourned meeting, no other business may be transacted. The CWI Board of Directors subsequently held an emergency board meeting and decided that the AGM will resume on April 11 at 9 a.m. Jamaica time. Yesterday's elections were meant to elect the president and the vice president. Incumbent Ricky Skerritt and his deputy, Dr. Kishore Shallow, are contesting a second two-year term against the pairing of Sanasi and Hope. We kick it over to football news now. The United States will miss a third straight Olympic men's football tournament. This after losing 2-1 to Honduras in the semifinals of the CONCACAF qualifying round of the 2020 Olympic Games in Guadalajara, Mexico yesterday. Juan Carlos Obregón and Luis Palma scored the Central Americans with Jackson Ewell getting one for the Americans. The result means the U.S. will not be in the Summer Games in Tokyo and the American men have not qualified for the Olympics since 2008 after reaching them every four years prior to that, starting in 1992. Honduras, meanwhile, has now qualified for four Olympic Games in a row. Mexico also booked a place at the Olympics after defeating Canada 2-0. The 2012 golden medal, gold medal winners and Honduras will join Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Egypt, France, Germany, Ivory Coast, Japan, New Zealand, Romania, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, South Korea and Spain in the draw, which will be held in Zurich on April 21. The tournament will be played from July 21 to August 7 in Tokyo, Kashima, Miyagi, Saitama, Sapporo, and Yokohama. On to basketball news now. LeBron James missed his fifth straight game with a high ankle sprain, but the Los Angeles Lakers improved to 2-3 and three without their leader in scoring as they held on for a 96-93 win against the visiting Orlando Magic last night. Dennis Schroeder scored 24 points, Kyle Kuzma had 21 and 11 rebounds, while Montres Hill finished with 18 points and 11 rebounds off the bench, and Markeith Morris totaled 12 points and 11 rebounds for the Lakers. Elsewhere, Devin Booker scored a game-high 35 points to help the Phoenix Suns hold off the host Charlotte Hornets for a 101-97 overtime victory. Chris Paul and Devin Booker, who finished with 16 points, each made free throws in the extra period as the Suns picked up their fifth victory in their past six games. Charlotte had its three-game winning streak snapped and lost at home for the first time in six games. Damian Lillard scored 22 points and added 11 assists as the visiting Portland Trailblazers defeated the Toronto Raptors 122-117. to Jermichael Green scored a season-high 20 points. Nikola Jokic had 16 points, 10 rebounds, and 8 assists. And the host Denver Nuggets beat the Atlanta Hawks 126-102. to 
Now to end tonight's sports package, we present you with the play of the night. Harrison Barnes' game winner versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. There's time. <laughs> Cash Barnes gets his look at Lark and money! Perfectly. You know, kudos to Luke Walton for having these guys understanding what the situation is. Harrison Barnes just ice in his veins, getting a hug right now at the free throw line from Vivek Ranadive. High fives all around. Wow, just a beautiful pass. I mean, Dean Wade was right there on him, but he didn't want to foul, so he stepped back just enough for Harrison Barnes to get the game winner. After reviewing the play, Look at the celebration. The call is confirmed. Good to be And those are the stories making sports news tonight. We now head back to the news desk with Tamara Mikhail.